the Giants should take Justin Fields in this year's draft. Let's talk about it. What is good, y'all? It's your boy, Jay Dimes, and we are back at it with another video. And before we get to this one, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe to the fam so we can all go ham. And today, this will be a new type of video I will be making for multiple draft prospects that the Giants could be end up taking in this year's draft. And based off of what I seen last night, we're going to start off this type of video, these first type of draft videos with quarterback Justin Fields from Ohio State. Now, I know you're saying, why aren't you, start, why aren't you starting off with Trevor Lawrence? And I'm going to answer this question for you. The Giants have been in all these games. They have not gotten blown out but besides one game, and that was against the 49ers. The Giants have been in all these games. They're not going to outbeat or outlose the Jets. The Jets have given up this year. They are all in on Trevor Lawrence, and that's just the way it is. I know people want Trevor Lawrence, but that's just not going to happen. So the next QB that the Giants could end up taking, based off of what we've seen this year from Daniel Jones, is Ohio State's quarterback, Justin Fields. And today, I feel like after what I've seen, Justin Fields is going to be a Giant. I just feel like it. Let's talk about what he's doing in college right now. Right now, he is leading the Ohio State Buckeyes to a 2-0 record, a 2-0 start. He is in the Heisman Trophy uh, race right now. He's probably number one right now based off what I've seen. In his first game back um, from his first season with Ohio State, uh, he was facing Nebraska. And um, he had an amazing game. One incompletion. One incompletion. No interceptions. I think he had about, what, three, two touchdowns. Um, I'm not really sure how many, but he just had an amazing game against Penn State. Another flawless game from uh, Justin Fields. You can't really, based off the first days I've seen this year, you can't really argue that Justin Fields can't be at least on the Giants' minds right now. Um, watch the games. Watch the film on Justin Fields, and you're going to be like, wow, wow. He's, he's, a, he's a good prospect. He doesn't force any passes. He, he throws the ball away when he needs to. And he's just he's just an all around good player. He's, he he can run when he needs to. Even though he prior he he would like to probably become a pocket passer, which I like. I like that he wants to not just run the ball every time. I like that from Justin Fields. You know, I like the Ohio State Buckeyes. I watched every single Justin Fields game, and based off what I've seen, he is worthy of a top five draft pick in my opinion. Um. Joe Judge, our our head coach, my guy, Joe Judge has did flawless this year. He's made uh, this Giants team from what it was last year to at least not a, a, a scratch-off team. Someone that you just go in there, oh, we're going to beat this team. No, the Giants fight in all these games. Joe Judge is just missing talent. He just miss, He's just missing talent. That's all he needs. And I think with a talented QB, who is Justin Fields, the Giants would win a lot of more games. If Daniel Jones just didn't, throwaway games and just didn't turn the ball over so much the Giants are number one in the NFC East division right now that's all he needs he just he needs he needs a competent QB and maybe the Giants don't find that in the draft but if the Giants were to go fire Dave Gautam which they're going to do or or hire Nick Cancero from the uh, Patriots the Giants are probably going to be end up taking a, a new QB from the GM standpoint you know, I wouldn't even be against that at this point. With, with how I've seen Jalen's play and how I've seen Justin Fields play, they are two different people. One is an absolute stud based off what you've seen, and one is just you want to believe in him so bad, but he makes you just just give up on him. And and uh, Daniel Jones has kind of lost all of his fans. The guys who were uh, who were um, the guys who were fighting for him the guys who were arguing for him he's lost them he's lost them i've seen it i've seen it on twitter he's lost all of his apologists all the guys who said that he needed weapons i was that guy i was like he needs weapons he's one wide receiver away from being coming a pretty decent qb in this league but after what you've seen it doesn't matter if you have a pro bowl wide receiver the mistakes that he makes it it won't matter it won't matter and i think with Joe Judge, he needs a QB who's going to go out there and make make the right play. Because if he goes out there and makes the right plays, the Giants are looking better than what they're looking at right now. The Giants are not a 1-17. They're not what they record. What they record show is a misconception. It's a misconception. And 
I think if the Giants were to fire Dave Gilderman, bring in a new GM, they would like to take their new their own QB. And Dave Jones has not proven enough where he can make the GM convinced and be like, oh yeah, I think I, I don't think I need to take another quarterback. He hasn't done that. And I think that's what this year had to be. I think this year had to be the year where Daniel Jones proves himself as a competent quarterback in this league. And he just hasn't done it. And a lot of things go into that. A lot of things go into that. Some of the offensive line, we know he doesn't have the best res the receivers. And Evan Ingram, we know, we know. No Saquon, learning a new system. But the the excuses, man, it's just, uh-uh. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. In New York, in New York, you want to see results. And we have not seen results from Daniel Jones. And that's what the fans are going to do. The fans are going to run Daniel Jones out of here. If the Giants, if the Giants are sitting on draft night with what, the second overall pick, the third overall pick, and Justin Fields or a Trey Lance, I'm not really that high on Trey Lance. I like Justin Fields better. I like Justin Fields more. I think Trey Lance is, I'm not really going to say, he's, I'm not really going to give out my whole opinion on him because I haven't watched a lot of Trey Lance, but I know he doesn't turn the ball over i know that but if a justin fields or a trey lance i don't now no trevor lawrence because trevor lawrence not gonna be there he's going to the jets if he comes out uh this year um but yeah if justin fields or daniel jones are um justin fields or trey lance are on the on the board and the giants are standing there they're going to end up taking one of those guys i think that that's just how it is definitely with a new gm justin fields is a Heisman Trophy candidate. He was one last year. He's probably going to win it this year based off what I've seen. He's a good prospect. He's a leader. He doesn't turn the ball over. And I think he has that it. He's an it factor. He has that X factor ability. Not talking about Madden. I'm talking about as a player. He has that ability. He has that moxie. He has that look like, oh, yeah, he's a baller. He's a baller. And I don't think Daniel Jones is that no more. I don't think he's that. I just I thought of it, but I don't think he's that. You know, Daniel Jones is at best. A quarterback is going to need a a lot of weapons. He's gonna need. A, he's gonna need a, a lot of things to get the job done. Justin Fields. I think if you get Justin Fields a good, good receiver, and some, some consistent good old line play, the Giants could be in the playoffs, man. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. I will be posting another video on why the Giants should fire Dave Gilderman, and um, that's gonna do it for me. I am out. Peace.